Hello YouTube, Persian here. I just thought I'd share with everybody a little bit of information I found on the net. It was actually kind of hard finding this and I luckily I stumbled across it. But uh, as you might have seen in the uh, earlier homestead version uh, video, kind of trying to get my well house going and stuff and having a problem tracking down the electrical line. Electrical line and ain't had any luck digging test holes everywhere so I finally was able to find this. It's a cable locator, like progressive electronics and stuff. Uh, not very many people carry this. There was a one company, it's a national company. No, I probably shouldn't say no names, but it's a big national company. It's all everywhere, but they're very expensive. Probably have an idea who I'm talking about. And called all around town to the local rental companies. As you can tell, this is a rental. See how abused this thing is. Luckily, one of the rental companies in town actually had this. It was only $25 for the day compared to the other one they wanted 130 so pretty good savings there. And Basically how it works as you see here it's a little box with a, it's a transmitter generates a tone through the electrical wire or iron pipe that you're trying to track down. Got some variable pitch here how much you want to how much signal strength you want to put through there supposedly it will tr locate down to seven feet and up to a maximum run of about four thousand feet um, from my experience in using this I don't think it's going to be that much but uh, who, who really knows this is my first time using that like luckily like I said I stumbled across this and found was able to find who had one so very first time using it and I'll kind of show you the steps and everything here uh, it seemed to be okay. It wasn't as good as I had hoped it would be. It seemed like it gets out a lot of false signals, something about concrete, and I'm thinking bigger tree roots uh, probably transmit some of the signal and kind of threw things off. But I think after a good day, I was able to track stuff down, and I'll show that here too, so in here a little bit. But give me a moment, let's go hook this up, and we'll continue on here. Okay, here is the electrical line I'm trying to run down and find where the break is at. This actually taps into the meter box here, the meter fuse box, and goes to the well house. And you've seen that in our, hopefully in an er earlier video. And what you do is take these two leads, clamp them on the wires, and here's your box. I've got that turned about halfway as it recommends. And I guess I probably should say this right off before going further. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know anything about electrical, don't mess with this. Because you see right there, there's a lot of voltage and amps going through that. You don't want to jack with it if you don't know what you're doing. I'm comfortable enough to do this, so I'm going to do it. But if you don't know what you're doing, I'm telling you, stay away from it and hire the right people. Okay, now let's continue on here. There's the well shed. I'm trying to locate the break and everything so I can fix it because for now I like to use what's existing and then later on down the line redo it. And here's how this thing works. It generates a tone. So you can see that needle. And as you go over it, that needle should move. Increase the sensitivity here. a little louder. There's the needle moves. It falls back down. Come on, focus. And see, that's about where there's one flag. And as you can see, I got the line of flags in the distance. So I've kind of come along here and track this whole line down. And here's where I was digging in the past, trying to figure out a lot of the pipes that have been busted and come across it. And according to this, this electrical wire goes across the, this little trench. But this must be buried pretty deep because I didn't see it when I was digging here. As you can see here, come across that flag. 
see it either moving or not. And here's where I think the problem is. Up to here I got some pretty decent signal. I should turn the thing up a little more. Okay, I went and turned up the, the transmitter just a bit. Again here I think is where the problem is. I know this tone's going to get annoying, but not much I can do about that. I hope you can see the needle. You can definitely should be able to hear the tone. Okay, right here where the tree roots starts diminishing some. I don't know if you can see that, the needle's not moving. And you get all the way on this side of the tree. And here's the electric line that I was able to find and dig from this point on. There's barely any audible signal. And that meter is not moving. So I suspect there is my problem. I don't know if you can tell on the video of the rise of the tree roots that this hackberry is done. It is actually pulled up about a foot, a foot and a half. My suspicions are, I ain't going to know this until I get it dug up, that right about there where it has a fairly decent signal is where the break is. And I've seen tree branches wrap around a wire like they do fencing and pull them apart. I'm assuming the roots are going to do the same thing. So I'm assuming that's where my break is. And I'll let you know later on, maybe in another video, once I get it dug up and found, if that's the case. Now here, coming back from this side, we know the signal on this side is good. It's going to get stronger as I walk away from the tree. And increase it here. I'm walking back towards the tree. And there goes the meter. It's dropping. And right about at the root ball, it dropped to zero. You can see where I'm at the tree. Boy, that's annoying. So I suspect that's where my problem is. It's not where, I don't think the problem is where the homeowner I purchased this place from told me to, told me where it's at. So everything he told me where it was at and the problem was turned out to be incorrect. So after I get a little rain, because this ground is hard as a rock at the moment, I'm going to dig and try to find the wire here. And I'm probably going to find that the roots had pulled up on the wire and busted it. And so basically this video is if you're needing to track down some metal pipe, gas pipe, electrical line underground, and if you live in an area where utilities do not come out and do it for you, this is a way to help do it yourself, especially if you're planning to do maybe dig up a garden or run a water line somewhere on your property, not sure where stuff is. Would suggest doing this because you don't want to find out the hard way that you have a buried utility there. Again, a lot of uh, local utility places will do that for you. It's out in the boonies where I live, they don't do it. So, it's either that or pay a company big bucks to do. Come out and run it for you. Cost me $25 in the field to run the town and back. So, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, got any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to answer what I know about it. Again, this was my first time using it, and I think I got it pegged, but uh, I'm not claiming to be an expert. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. God bless.